Wow, crazy, crazy day. Got our renter going today. He just took off and he's going to have his little adventure here in Michigan. So little leaf peeping is what Wendy calls it to Petoskey State Park. We are on our way. We gotta hit the road. This is not normal for us, but wanted to leave a night before. Late start. Yeah, had to get a full day of work in before we could take off. It's getting dark, but let's go. All right, let's get rolling. So it's just about 11 and we're just pulling into the campground. A little bit dark. So we're thinking we'll just stay hooked up and figure things out in the morning. Good morning. I got up here late. It's what, 10.30, 11 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Got here real late. So what do you do when you get late? You camp around in the fall in Michigan. You just pull in, you come here to the front, back in, stay hooked up, put a vent cover on. That way you keep your condensation low. Keep the trail hooked up and good to go. So pull in throw a mat down and hop in bed. Today's setup day, set up camp a little bit. We're going to head out and take a look at some beautiful fall foliage. I don't know if you can tell the background. We're probably getting close to peak up here, probably 50%. So we're gonna hit the road today, see what kind of adventure we can make. And uh, because we're on power, I don't have to burn propane. We should be toasty in here if we so desire to turn it on. Right now, the air temperature is what? I think around 40? Something along that line. Yeah. It was and you're the, wearing shorts? It was in the 30s overnight. Come on. We're in Michigan. <laughs> so you're saying it's warm now? Yeah. So I walked to the bathhouse and, yeah, Michiganders in the 40s are walking around in shorts. Um, seen three people doing it so yeah don't listen to her it's time for breakfast what's for uh, breakfast today egg sandwiches egg sandwiches so we got our english muffins the little ghee on it to a little ghee. Where'd little you get ghee. the ghee idea from? Oh, of course, Dwayne and Teresa. Pioneer woman. Pioneer woman. Strikes again. Yes. Oh my goodness. Right. Now we're putting ghee on our whatever those things are. English muffins. <laughs> English muffins. What is ghee? Ghee is grass. This one's grass fed. Found this at Aldi. Um, it's kind okay. of a type of butter that doesn't need to be refrigerated, basically. Okay. So, yeah. Show the, show the front. You got it at Aldi? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So what do you got on the mug there, Wendy? Isn't that pretty cool? That's the sticker that Laura made for our camp out. So instead of putting it on the trailer, I decided to put it on my mug. Ooh. So cool. Mm -hmm. my mouth wow a little bit of cider and hot donuts are totally a sign of fall 
Oh my goodness. These donuts are amazing. They're not the heavy cake kind of donut. They're kind of light and airy, and then they have uh, like the cinnamon on them. What'd you think of the donuts? Two thumbs up. <laughs> All oh, 10 fingers. It's totally a sign of fall. It's delicious. It's it awesome. Yes. So, all right. We got some information from some locals of some drives better than the Tunnel of Trees for color, so we're gonna go check it out. So far, it's been an amazing color tour. Uh, we've had a couple of spitty showers, but hasn't been too bad. So last year, we stopped at Burt Lake State Park, and this place is pretty nice. Nice campground, water shut off. Um, you can camp here. There's pit johns this time of year. There's no other amenities. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Are you cold? I am. Oh my goodness, it's only like, 41 degrees? Exactly. <laughs> That's like 10 degrees away from being freezing. So how'd you like pulling that tree out of the middle of the road? That was kind of fun. <laughs> Got me a little excited. We were overlanding. If you pull a tree out of the road, are you truly overlanding? <laughs> yeah. That was an interesting little forest service road, wasn't it? It was. It was beautiful. Yeah. The trees were gorgeous it down was. that area. Yep. It's not raining. I'm happy for that. Very true. Can take a little chilly, no problem. So as the camper next to us said this morning, you can camp in any kind of weather. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of not having the right clothes for the type of temperatures you're yes, having. Yes, you gotta have the right clothes for whatever the temperatures are, so. Yep. Yep, so we are gonna hit the road and probably head east towards, where are we gonna head? I don't know, there's some waterfall. Uh, we're gonna try about. to find a waterfall, so yep. let's get rolling. Okay. All right, what kind of adventure are we on now? So we were going down the road and just saw this like huge sculpture of a head. And there's a bunch of other things in that area. So I said, hey, let's check it out. We are at Owakin um, Sculpture and Historic Landmark Park. Um, so it's a walking tour and it has these awesome sculptures. And this one behind us is the president from Michigan. So Gerald R. Ford is our kind of claim to fame in Michigan. And they made a really cool statue of him. Gotta yeah, check out his hair. It just looks so cool. We're in Onaway, Michigan, which is, okay, if you know Michigan, we all like to use our hand. Somewhere in this area up here. So we were on our way to find some waterfalls and then we came across this. So we decided to stop. But yeah, we're somewhere up in here. And then what was the first piece we had back there? Um, that one was a train. Oh yeah, that's right. So that was really cool too. Cool. So let's go check them out. I think I see the Statue of Liberty over there. Absolutely huge. This is really cool. Really, really big. It's really tall. Yeah, just one point. <laughs> wow. No, no top hat on no Abe. Pretty cool, last remnants left. Used to make wooden steering wheels. Wooden steering wheels, and what else was there? There was- Wood rims to tires. Wood rims for tires. World's largest steering wheel. Steers the world. Yeah, Anaway steers the world. Wow. Pretty cool seeing the remnants of this place. So we've made it to Akiak Waterfalls. It's definitely an Indian name. 
that's being honored by this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go check this out, see how great these falls are. Cool. Mm -hmm. In a campground across, right? We just drove through that. Yeah. There's like 13 sites. Something like that. Nice rustic campground. A couple of beautiful sites in there mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Some hidden gems. We'll have to come back here sometime to camp. Yeah. So we ate at Lily's. Libby's. Oh, Libby's. We ate at Libby's in Charlevoix. No. What's Sheboygan. We ate at Libby's <laughs> in Sheboygan. And on our way out, we made sure we grabbed some homemade pies. So we got raspberry here, and we got a blackberry, blackberry strawberry. strawberry. Should be kind of interesting. Nothing better. We're camping. Just having a little fresh pie from the locals, right? That's right. Yum, yum. Well, unfortunately. Now it's homework time, but yeah. If you keep recording, you'll catch me eating again. Oh no, I don't <laughs> want to see that. Our, no, those are here all about that. it again. You smile, it's a photo. No, it's a video. So, what are we playing? We are playing 20,000. 20,000? It's been a while since I played this one. So, we have like kind of a hand and a foot. Oh, that's right. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Let the games begin. All right. Drew this kind of uh, picture here. Good morning. What a wonderful night last night. Had to get a little homework done by the laptop. We needed some reading. Played some cards. Got my butt kicked again. The plan for today, Saturday, we are going to head up to the Tunnel of Trees. Um, it's a famous little windy drive along Lake Michigan. Yeah, we'll just make an adventure of it. Leave it on the most bright days when it's bright out. Still a little dark underneath the awning. If you got the 270 with a blackout kit on it, it's even darker. So one thing to consider is having a good spot for a light. And this light right here works really well. This is the Claymore. This thing is unbelievable. So what's today? What do you think? We gotta do tortilla boats at least one time while we're out. Yeah. So, tortilla boat day. Tortilla boat, so we've got some hash browns ground up. Yep, uh, and some sausage, sausage and eggs. And we'll put some cheese on there. We bought a little garlic and herb um, cream cheese mix yesterday, so we'll put a little bit of that in there. Have Tasha's uh, sprinkly mix. You no, know, I don't think we have that. Oh, anymore. you I forgot know, Skyway. It's the highway's famous garlic herb that we've been promoting because it's amazing. I oh, know. Oh my goodness. Because we've been using it at home because it's so great. It didn't get packed. Okay. Sorry, Tosh. I tried. Mm -hmm. Say you're a little full there. Yep. Might need to have a little goodness on the side. Put it on the side. Really good. So this is the first time we've tried this in the uh, Gazelle Deluxe Tad Gazebo. Um, is that we brought a electric heater, increased the temperature of this Gazelle room by at least 20, 20 degrees, I'll bet. Um, it's absolutely toasty in here, so I will not need this hat, and uh, we're going to enjoy our breakfast. So we can fix anything on YouTube. We got a down jacket here with a rip. And what we're going to end up doing is taking a pair, a piece of this Terry original tape, tape itself from the inside out so you don't see it. There you go. Yep. Pull the hole back and tuck it in. There you go. There you go. 
Okay, I have a little wrinkle there, but who cares? I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Feather shunt, <clears throat> at least the feather shunt come out. Yeah, if you ever get up this way, this place is beautiful. It's really nice. Super windy by the water. The minute you get away from the water, the wind calms down. So just a beautiful winding boardwalk through the whole thing. So now we're at Pond Hill Farms, which they're having a fun fall festival. Lots of fun activities for the family to do here. Do you want a live edge table? They're very pretty. Nice shot, nice shot. So what if I told you I want to take home that one right there? I would wonder where you're gonna put it. I just figured we would attach it to the top of the hiker. Oh, sure. We don't have a basket, we'll just send it right there. On top of the air unit? Yeah, we'll just put it on the air unit, we'll just strap it down that way. Well, it's better than on our bed, because I thought that's where you're gonna say you're gonna put it. <laughs> so, we're doing a little sample and wine test and tasting. What one is this? This is the Northern Lights Peach Sparkler. It's really good. It's their brand, right? Yeah. So, I like peach. So this is, it's got a little sparkly, like, little bubbles, bubbles in it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she's rolling. Okay. Wow. What? It's chilly. The wind. The wind is howling. Gulpin Lighthouse. So let's see, it's supposed to overlook the whole Mackinac Straits. So let's see if we can see the bridge from here. So this is the lighthouse. Right here is the bridge connecting the upper peninsula, the lower peninsula, or right here. Nope. Long ways down. So we just took the path from the lighthouse down to the water. And um, so they say this is the McLaughlin Rock that you can see right out here in the water. And then behind me is the bridge. So anyone that thinks of Michigan, you gotta know about the Mackinac Bridge. Oh boy, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is downpouring out there. It is Saturday night. Last night in Petoskey State Park, and we're having a good time playing some cards. I'm getting my butt kicked again. I don't know what I'm ever going to do to win against this card shark, but anyway, we are staying dry in the gazelle gazebo. I don't know what we do without it this weekend because it's been just nonstop rain all day today. The places we we're at were not raining. You could probably hear the rain. But coming back would have been kind of miserable. So we had a nice meal at the Rusty Saw. 
the rusty saw we had a nice meal and some barbecue and pizza and going back to play some cards wrap up the last night so i'm experimenting in this rainstorm with taking a weight a fishing weight you see here in the middle my neighbor let me borrow this and clipping it onto a carabiner. So when you have a rainstorm, you know it's coming, you need to quickly make up your gutters on your 270 awning and clip this on. As you can see, I gotta come up with the right weight. So I'm gonna figure out which ounce I need. But see the water running? The water's running off the awning, down the carabiner, down the fishing line, and off the bottom of the weight. It's just a fishing weight. Now I can leave this on here. You don't want to run into it in the middle of the night, but if you know it could rain overnight, and you'll quickly make up gutters without doing stakes, this is an option for sure. Well, it's Sunday morning and the rain showers quit overnight, which was nice. Rained all night, Saturday night, um, but rain has stopped. We're getting packed up as quick as we can. So there's another blob across the peninsula in the lake that's coming this way so There it is, the last of the rainbow right there in the middle. Just happened to get out to the lake to watch the storm come in and rainbow right over the trailer. Must be a good sign for the drive home. We're gonna stay safe. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Like we always say, get, get out, out and, and do, do some, some camping. camping.